Now, sports coverage in the panhandle spirit with Lee Baker. Hello, everyone. Coming off losses at arrival east of New Mexico, the West Texas A&M Hoop teams in action tonight. Now, the men and women are hosting incarnate work. Both need to get back on track. A chance to look at them a lot. I, I know they swept Kingsville this week, so they uh, this past weekend in, the, in their uh, rivalry games. So uh, uh, it looks to me like they are improving as a basketball team just based on their scores and, and how they're playing. I, I just think it's right now we're trying to win on Thursday. It doesn't matter who we're playing. It doesn't matter if it's Incarnate Word, um, if it's Baylor. We're trying to win on, on Thursday and, and do what we do and get better. So far, so good. The Lady Buffs lead by seven. Meanwhile, the men will play sometime around eight. We'll have highlights of that on our late sports also. A capacity crowd of more than 12,000 packed a Penn State arena for one more tribute to Joe Paterna. Of course, the Hall of Fame coach died Sunday at age 85 from lung cancer. Today's public memorial for Joe Paterno on the Penn State campus brought together family, friends, and of course, former players. The longtime coach passed away Sunday from lung cancer at the age of 85. What an incredible example this man was for thousands of young men who have been under his charge as players. He never took a compliment. He always deflected praise. Today, we are going to show you how much we love you. Paterno was a part of Happy Valley for 60 years. He led the Nittany Lions to five undefeated seasons and two national titles. Then came revelations of a child sex abuse scandal involving his former assistant coach, Jerry Sandusky. After 46 years as head coach, Paterno was abruptly fired in November. Still, it was his decades as coach that many here think of first. The statue outside Beaver Stadium continues to be a gathering place for those mourning the man affectionately known as Joe Pa. Why did you decide to come out here? Because we love Joe. It's very, very sad. Very sad. And I'm glad to be here to honor him. Wednesday, it was son Scott and Jay Paterno, along with Joe's grandchildren, who were among the pallbearers who carried the casket out of the campus spiritual center. After a private funeral, the family boarded the blue school bus that carried the Nittany Lions to Beaver Stadium on game days. They followed the hearse as it wove through the Penn State campus and College Park. Thousands lined the streets to watch the procession. I knew I had to do it. I knew I had to do it. I had to pay my, pay my respects. By the way, one of Paterno's nearby rivals left the college football for the NFL today. Greg Schiano of Rutgers, now the head coach of the Miami Dolphins. And at the Australian Open, it's Novak Djokovic against Andy Murray tonight for a spot in the men's final. Of course, the winner will play Rafael Nadal. He beat Roger Federer by 4 o'clock this morning. living in the Penn State area at all this year? and just uh, that It's whole... going to be hard to follow that act no matter what happens. It's going to be a tough year Nobody next year. Nobody will ever be part of a university system for 60 years. They'll, like once they name the stadium after him, it'll... Yeah. That'll be the next step. That will, happen. that will happen. Thank you, Lee. What would your life be like if you came into this world with a disability? You'd be excused if you use it as a crutch, but this guy, he never did that. Find out something incredible about him next.